Landfill, how are you, my friend? <sighs> Smoke settled down a bit today. Really neat axe. Really neat axe. Um, because this is going to be a wall hanger, I want it to be, uh, you pull it off the wall at any time and just swing the crap out of it, okay? But, um, I want it to be kind of funky too. I don't want it to be like, because I have pugets that are in nice shape, but if it's going on the wall, like, you know what I'm saying, landfill. <laughs> Hey, what do you think? Look at it. It's still like integral. Hey everybody. How's everybody doing? <laughs> hey, Landfill, how are you, pal? I hope everybody's doing well. The Mr. Landfill Rat is a man who has been hanging around this channel for a little while. I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, and what, what we're doing for Landfill today, friends, is he's... I feel like Landfill Rat is literally like... like part of the channel like yes it's buck and billy ray's channel but there's folks like landfill rat decal spencer mcginty saw surgeon willard will do just many since there's i can't name the people that i feel that are this is a neat neat place friends i i know i say it but i can't stress it uh, enough the gratitude i have for people like landfill rat and I'm building an axe for him right now. And he has purchased axes from me, friends. He, he likes axes and he cuts, you know, he cuts timber on his property and he splits when he, he's an axe man too. But friends, he's, I know there's part of him that's doing it for the community and to keep this thing rolling. I freaking know it is. Landfill, you are a, you are a stand up man. You are a major part of this community. Major part. The guy came to freaking... O'Hara Airport to meet me. He never seen me before, friends. Ever he saw me on the internet. And he drove like six or eight hours to come and meet me and my boy. When Decal was meeting me for the first time. Can you, like, Landfill, I'm going to change the camera up. That back door is, that door is pretty, uh, it's, it's light there. I'm going to change the camera angle. I don't like that lightness there coming in on us. I'm going to put us over here, friends, okay? Just bear with me one sec here. I just want a wider angle today for, for the Landfill Rats video. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking more like this. You know what I mean? So, Landfill, we got a Puget going for you, bud. And, and what it is, friends, I got some super duper cool axes. When I bought them 116 axe heads, I mean, we, we got we got some neat some neat stuff here. There's a couple of pugies, you know, like I cleaned up. I do my little technique to them where they still look old. I don't I don't vinegar nothing. I don't I don't wire wheel nothing. I do it all by hand, and I get my little patina that I like so much. Like that right there is a perfect example of an axe. One of my axes. I just I I love it, friends. You know, do you know what I'm saying? So what we have here is a landfill rat um, Puget and I'm just starting what uh oh oh this is neat oh this is cool I see something on here now this is like Christmas to me friends because this is what you get look at it never mind that piece in the middle this is what I'm talking about you get that when you get an axe like a vintage old axe that stuff in the middle I've already cleaned up this is what you got, straight like that. Now here's the other side that I've worked a little bit on. I see a name here, friends. I'm gonna see if I can go after this and see if I can, but I, I only see a T. What would that be? Crazy. 
landfill. This is going to be super duper cool. Talk to you in a minute, buddy. Okay, landfill. This is like Christmas for me, getting into these axe heads. This is crazy. I don't know exactly what it is yet, but I got markings. I got markings on it. Usually these Pugets, you'll find they'll have something on them. Usually a Walters, I find. Sager. Um, this one's very interesting. It, right there it says W-27. This is a really cool axe. Oh, I wonder if it's a man axe. Friends, there's no way around it, friends. This axe is freaking wicked. It looks to me, friends, that it had an embossment on it. This is really cool. I wonder what ends in L. Friends, look at, I want to show it to you. Can you, can you see right in the middle? See underneath it says trademark. And then it looks like an embossment. There's something else. See that quality, something for quality. And then there's like an embossment in the middle of it. Like right there. There's something there. This is so cool. Look, can you see that right there? You can't get you. Landfill, this is a killer axe. I'm going to try and find out who made it. It, it. it is so beautiful. Is that what I think it is? I'll be back in a flash. It says trademark. This is going to be a neat axe. You should rock this axe, Landfill. I'm going to make it wall hang it for sure. It's for a wall hanger, but you should take it out and rock it and do a video of it. Uh, buddy, I'm not joking you. This is a cool axe. A really cool axe. Puget. I wonder if that means W. W-27, that's what it says on there. That's all. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's, uh, it's time, friends, to take a look at this axe a little closer now. Wow. <gasps> what? N oh, my God. Landfill trademark something for quality. I think it's got like a freaking embossment on it, buddy. Look at it. Can you see it there? Right there and there? See it? 
and it says something trademark on it. Look at it, buddy. <laughs> You'd never know if you didn't start going at it. You know what I mean, friends? I'm excited about this one. This is going to be like artwork to me. I, I, I'm not kidding you. Loggers artwork. Okay, friends. This is so. This is super cool. I brought a couple axes out to show you what I'm trying to capture here. Okay. <laughs> For starters, uh, me. Uh, uh, that's a wall hanger right there. Here, here's an axe. Okay, that obviously. The man used the axe, okay? He used the living snot rags out of it, okay? It's still hung. And every axe that I see that is beaten to pulp and that's still on the head is a friction fit. Look, I'm talking friction fit, which means the same girth of here to the, to the very next step, friends. It, 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 it goes down and that's it. Do you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's got a bend in it too, which tells you we got straight up and down grain, which we do. This one here, this is what I'm talking about right here. I don't know how to capture this, but I'm gonna try it. Landfill gave me free freedom to do it. I'm gonna do it, friends. I'm gonna try something. Here it is. See this thing? This is a Walters Black Diamond, okay? Freaking Puget, beautiful, beautiful axe. The fit was crazy, it still fit. And the handle's almost rotted right off it. Doesn't move. Oh, little teeny bit, no? Yeah, it just, yeah, a touch, a touch it moves, but it's got the grooves I'm talking. You, you guys know, see what I'm talking about? There's almost dry rod in it. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a wall hanger, friends. It's the Muskoka Lake. I don't know why I use that name. I don't know where I use that or where that came from. I think it's like the lake you go to, the, 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 the cabin on the lake with the stuff on the shoes, snowshoes hanging on the, you know what I mean? <laughs> Muskoka Lake, right? Okay, so. Here's our culprit. I'm thinking about trying it. Just, I, I make it look old. This is a neat project. Where do we start? Start by sanding the varnish off is what we got to do. So we'll do that. That's a boring thing to watch. Mind you, I can, uh, I can scrape it. So little nicks and this and that aren't going to matter, friends. Now, I think I'll scrape this one, friends. Yeah. People laugh at me when I do this. I stick it in my hip. Hey, Landfill, thanks for giving me free reign on this, pal. He's a wood man! Okay, now I'm using an X-Acto knife. <sighs> but you gotta be super careful here because you don't wanna create all these. I wanna stay in the line each time. That was a good one. A real good one. Yeah. Good.
So friends, I have a model beside me. I'm using this model, you see, this old ax here. So I just use it and I look at, you know, I just look at how the grain is going, how you can, you know, separate your little lines. I'm actually very happy with this technique so far that I've been doing, friends. It'll be difficult for you guys to see. Oh, there you go. See the shade when the shade comes in? There we go. Look at friends. Okay, so that's with an X-Acto knife and just a bit of sandpaper and just, believe it or not, whatever's around my surroundings here on the bench. Seriously, friends. Dirt, grit, grime, grease, vodka, uh, 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 just everything. Goo. Alrighty, friends. You guys need to come down here and have a little peeksy boot with me here. Which is kind of what I'm doing. Just getting at it here with the X-Acto knife. Okay, I'm just... Do you know what I mean, friends? Are you, are you, are you feeling me? Hey? to keep flipping them around or you're going to end up with your little grooves are going to be all one way you know what I mean friends you got to you got to make it look realistic well friends we're getting there I'm getting the desired look I want so far just to smooth out the grooves a little bit I don't know if you ever seen old handles that lose their grain but it, uh, they have a certain look. You can't just start, they taper, like the grooves taper. They start narrow, then they open up, and then they taper again. I want mine to be realistic. See, in my mind, the grooves got to be, like, thin and not deep. With the odd gouge here and there. Because once wood rots... Right? You see that one there? A little bit of a gouge. I don't mind that. Other ones are just lines, right? Check. What wood does, it checks. Right? So this will be an interesting project. It'll be a good learning curve. Like I'm talking. Friends, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of funny, really. I've thought about this forever. I, I remember doing one a long time ago, about three years ago. And I had uh, a wall hanger to do. And I wanted to do this process. But I, ha I hadn't the time. I hadn't, you know what I mean? Friends? Turn this upside down now. And I can get the front of it here now. Or the back of it, so to speak. I like working on this uh, this other side sometimes, friends. So the the buttress of the handle is 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 very interesting because it uh, it takes a bit of a beating because it's the extremities of the wood, right? So I'm gonna make couple bigger gouges down at the bottom yeah I like it friends I like it yeah I'm starting to like the looks of this action oh that was a nice one friends did you see that one yeah coming together friends Hey, Lanto, we're back, buddy. Good to see you. I missed you, pal. Where where were you, buddy? Where, where'd you go? You know? You can't see nothing. These, these iPhones, unfortunately. There we go. 
Okay. So we got to start on it. I'm I'm actually pretty tickled with the outcome myself. Right? Yeah. Not done. So what I'm going to do now, brush. Covered in grime and grit. And then, even get a little of the grit and grime on this rag. Rub it right into the grooves. You see, friends? So it goes in. Take a little more. The other side. See? So I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, it's coming up pretty good, actually. Yeah, I like it. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Starting to transform, friends. Starting to transform. Almost finished. I'm actually surprised, friends. <laughs> I am. I get these ideas in my head, you know, but I'm scared to do it unless I find the right person. Landfill Rat was the right fella. He said, Bucking, go for it. Yeah. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what my vision was and what I came up with. It's in my hands right now. I'm going to show it to you. And I personally am happy with it. I'm actually very happy with it. Uh, I'd throw it away if I wasn't. I just would. I, I'd, if it looks stupid or not right, I, I won't do it. It's got to look semi-realistic. Right? I was after a weathered, beat-up look. Similar. 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 <laughs> to this. Which is just that. It's weathered and beat-up and rotten, actually. You see, look at it, friends. It literally is, it, it's got rot in it. It's got so much rot in it. Right? So there it is, friends. You know, what are you going to do? I mean, he, it, this was a model. I was using it as a model. Friends, it turned out nice. It turned out nice. It took me two hours. <laughs> Just on the handle. But you know what? It feels really neat. It, it, what's that? Oh, right there. Little sliver. Got it. Yeah, it, it's nice, friends. It worked out nice. You, you got to get rid of those slivers. You got to you gotta either use like a wire wheel or something to get those slivers. I used I used wire brush. That's what I did. Look at that. Um, I'm tickled. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I really like the look of this, friends. Look at that. Come on down. Come on downtown. Look at friends. Bucking. Not bad. Not bad, big shooter. Shooter McGavin. Not bad. Okay, so now. Right.
yeah, you're damn right. Oh yeah, see that 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 just makes sense to me. It makes sense. It's not done, but it makes sense. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I gotta get this now. I gotta get onto the head here now, landfill. It goes on, but it's not it's not where it needs to be. It needs you can see. You see it, it's gotta come down. It's gotta come down. But not much. Not bad. I'm very excited, landfill rat. I am. Oh yeah. Landfill rat. I will talk to you in a few minutes, Mr. Landfill Rataroni. Rataroni. Landfill. I got her pretty much to where I need it now. These handles from Beavertooth are wonderful, but I did have to do some. are beautiful aren't they friends aren't they nice gosh they're nice i think i should make that a little bit darker there before i put that oh, 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 oh it's nice landfill oh i think i will make that just a little bit darker there see right there friends i'm gonna won't take a minute won't take a meanwhile bing bong does that look like it might be a little heavy on the one side there? <sighs> Let's have a look. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, we got a hornet in here. That's what I'm talking about right there. Simple. You just flip the axe around, friends. Instantly. Okay, that hornet's got to hit the road. Okay, son, I, I'm on the branch. Yeah, I'm coming in. All right. When I say go, just do it. Oh, they're fucking. Oh, motherfucker! Woo! You got me, fuck! You got me! He's on my back. <laughs> ah, he got me. <laughs> we fuck, we could have had him too. Oh, fuck! Woo! 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 Let's give it a crack, shall we? This is how I do it, friends. I don't know how you do it, but I do it like this. I'll show it. There we go. Hey, <laughs> friends, you're thinking, fucking get your crap together. I'll just edit you out. That's what I'll do. There. Okay. Okay, this is looking real good. Really good. I crack them like this. I do. And I was cutting, chopping, hitting, raking, and cutting, and chopping, and carving, and all this whole life I was doing that. Landfill, are you ready? It's time. It's time for go show. Custom made wedge. They're all like that nowadays. They just are. I just love it this was this wedge guys gals women and children it had to be so the way I fit the axe is in the corners the handle came right out into the corner so it's convex it goes in it what's the word I'm looking for Convex, maybe, but that's not that's not the word. Anyways, where it comes in, tapers into the corner. It went right up in there. It was just a good fit. It was one of those ones. So it doesn't allow for much spread. So I had to customize the wedge down big time in there. And it came out really good. You know what we're going to do just because? Yeah, we are. 
<laughs> yeah. Let, let, let's go do it. Let's go do it. I don't, I think what we should do though with this axe, it's very sharp and it's a Puget and it takes wood like mad. Let's go, let's go give it. Let's go do it. Why not? It's not customary to not do it. Let's go beat some oak up. Shall we friends? Yeah, let's do it. What a nice looking axe. Oh, she turned out good, lad, Phil. Real good. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it did, buddy. I know it's a, I know it's a, uh, what do you call it? A freaking wall hanger. I know it's a wall hanger, buddy. I know. But where am I going? Over here, I think. Let's do this. Let's see if we can get you, get you on here. Does that work? Where's the thing there? Ah, probably pretty good. Oh, yeah, buddy. See, the, these, these axes, they, they bite wood. Like, you know what I mean? Look at, Yeah, like the Puget's, oh. Oh, 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 man. Wow, this, what a beautiful axe. Very hot. <laughs> You know what I mean, friends? I'm excited about this one. This is going to be like artwork to me. I, I, I'm not kidding you. Logger's artwork.
while since I've had a little drop. friends you know what I mean there you know what I mean <laughs> it's been a while yeah well back to reality over and out